we're entering a, a, a new era that's greatly enabled by uh, recent progress in molecular uh, biology and genetics, which is our ability to not only change our environment in response to our differences from person to person, but also even change our genetics. The big idea is preventative genetics. Rather than being constantly putting out fires and being reactive, we can be proactive and look into our genome way in advance and so that we uh, are preventing uh, serious medical issues rather than just responding to them. Medicine has had uh, a huge sweep from, from the times where we really didn't understand. Everything was full of superstition and misunderstanding to a time where we, we knew it, but we didn't know what to do about it, to a time today where we have 2,600 genes it, it, that are inherited that we know something to do with. They're actually pr highly predictive and medically actionable. And then to the future where we we'll just extrapolate that, how much further we can go when we can change all of our environmental and genetic components. We've uh, advanced gene therapy, which was first approved for human trials in the 1990s, from kind of random insertion of genes to correct rare diseases to now pr precise targeting where you can either insert or remove DNA in, in a very precise manner. We might be changing our genetics, not necessarily in babies, but in adults, uh, to per highly personalized and so-called precision medicine. But it isn't necessarily going to be fixing things that are rare diseases, they could, we have these common diseases, you can find very rare individuals who are resistant to HIV, or slightly more common, you'll be resistant to norovirus. And it's because you've lost, these rare individuals have lost uh, both copies of the receptor on their cells for these viruses. If you could knock out both copies in an in a average person, you can now make them resistant to HIV or norovirus. There's now a phase two clinical trials. To get into phase two means they pass phase one. Uh, it's efficacious and safe so far, but we'll have to wait until it gets all the way through phase three before we know whether it's now safe to apply to um, AIDS patients around the world. The problem is, that, and the point of the, of the trials, is to determine just how precise is this targeting. Is it, is it good enough you don't cause any collateral damage to the rest of the genome? This will completely change medicine. It will change medicine into an information science. It'll be something like the way you navigate streets now is totally different. It's, you're guided by phone and GPS, that advanced technology that's way up in the sky you can't even see. It's very important for us to go into this with broad discussion. Uh, I mean, we're not talking about cloning. We're talking about genetic engineering of adult cells. This is medicine. Humans have a long history of changing our everything, our environment and ourselves, uh, we're no longer natural in any sense. We need to change our um, medicine to compensate for that. You know, so the, the question is, wouldn't you want to know more about your, your body than you currently know? Wouldn't you like to be informed if there is something you can do about it for yourself and your family? <laughs>